Hey there friends, it's Chili Pepper Dog welcoming you to a new year and a new video series. This time on Fighting with a Staff. I hope you watched my previous Stick Fighting 101 series uh, because a lot of that will be relevant to what we're doing in this series. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put the link down below in the description. Here's how we use that common motion to our advantage. As an example, we've got Umbrella Block followed by a number 2 strike, done both with the single stick and with the staff. That said, they line up perfectly up until the point that they stop doing so. Here's an example of where things go off the rails. Striking with the rear hand with the staff makes perfect sense and it's very powerful. Doing so with a single stick just doesn't work. First exercise, the hand switch. This is a good warm-up exercise, but it's really valuable in terms of being able to quickly switch from a left lead to a right lead, and it develops proprioception, that ability to feel where the staff is and properly manage it without having to look at it. Very important for you to keep your hands in contact with the staff at all times. You're not tossing it from hand to hand. Taking the hand switch from the last exercise, let's add in strikes now. We're going to be doing a number one, which is the downward diagonal, a number three, which is the level strike, and the number nine, which is the upward diagonal. And the numbers are the same whether you're striking left-handed or right-handed. Now, if you are actually sparring or fighting, you wouldn't switch hands for every strike but this is a good way to build proficiency with this skill. And it's a very powerful striking method too. This is a fundamental way of building power in your strikes. Your rear hand pulls back, allowing the staff to slide through your front hand. Then to strike, your front hand is pulled to your shoulder or hip and the rear hand fires forwards. This method takes advantage of all of the pulling and pushing muscles in your torso, rather than just relying on arm strength alone. Although I'm alternating left and right strikes in this video, you don't have to. You can alternate targets all on one side, high to low, low to high, whatever it takes to get past your opponent's defenses. Here's what it looks like in action. My opponent is using a Thai weapon called a my sock, and I expect he's going to be closing the gap. So my plan here is to try to keep him guessing where my strikes are coming from so he's not so interested in charging me. Okay, final exercise. As you slide your hands to switch leads, Keep the motion going to open up the gap between your hands, and then strike forwards, switching sides each time. Thank you for joining me on this new video series. Coming next, backhands.